so today's video is a historical book review of King's Mistress, Queen's Servant, The Life and Times of Henrietta Howard by Tracy Borman. This is my first ever Tracy Borman book. I have read it, I have absolutely loved and adored it and thought, do you know what, more people need to read this so I thought I'd do a book review for you today. If you're interested in picking up this book after the review and you think, oh, it sounds really good, click on the link in the description bar and it'll take you straight to the book depository. So, what on earth is this book all about? <laughs> so, The Life of Henrietta started out not in the best of circumstances. Her father actually died in a duel and her mother died not in a duel. So she was kind of brought up without her biological mum and dad there. She had a lot of siblings and as she was growing up, although she wasn't the eldest sibling, because of infant mortality rates during the Georgian period, she actually ended up becoming the eldest because her elder siblings died. When she was a bit older, she married a man called Charles Howard. And I think instantly there was this kind of sexual attraction. And I think they were quite passionate when they were first married. However, within a short period of them being married, I think Charles, Charles Howard showed Henrietta his true colours. He was a drinker, a gambler, a womaniser. And Henrietta was fabulous because she's kept a lot of her correspondence and journal articles and things like that. And there was one piece of correspondence where she spoke about the fact that her husband had stomped on her neck. He was absolutely vile and very physically abusive. He wasn't a nice man at all. And Henrietta produced a son. She produced an heir for her husband and she wanted a better life for herself and her child. And so she decided that she wanted to get to Hanover to go to the new heirs to the British throne because Queen Anne was dying. So she sold up all of her money, all of her possessions, everything worth of value, she sold. And she got the money for the passage to Hanover. What do you think happened? Of course, her husband spent it because that's what he's like. He spent the money. So they had to start all over again to save the money. They managed to get over there eventually. And of course, she did catch the eye of the prince, Prince George. And from then on, she escaped her husband by being the mistress of King George II. But also she was um, a servant as she served in the household of his wife, Queen Caroline. This book is a heart-wrenching tale. It's a very emotional story. In the fact that Georgian law stipulates that a woman is a possession. Therefore, Henrietta is owned by her husband and their child is also owned by the husband. So Henrietta unfortunately lost her battle with her son. I won't tell you if, if they regain it afterwards. But during... Um, her service she definitely lost contact with her son and it was such a shame but her husband was such a brute you just you want him to get his comeuppance i'm not going to tell you if he does because you have to read the story initially when i was writing my notes for this review i wrote down that all women should read this book and i was thinking no that's wrong everyone man woman should read this book because this book is an inspiration of the female's fighting spirit. But not only that, it's an inspiration to those who have suffered or know of someone who's suffering some, from some type of abuse. Henrietta, her story is about trying to escape that and trying to live that kind of happy ever after. I'm not going to tell you if she gets it or not, but she's a very clever woman, that's all I'll say, and she is a true inspiration to a fighting spirit. I absolutely think she's brilliant. So that's kind of about her. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to ruin it for you. So you're going to have to go and check it out mm, yourself. Mm. Um, but it's, it's brilliant. That's all I'm going to say. Now moving on to why I kind of love it so much. There's, there's a few things that I love. When it comes to history, I love royalty. I've got that in abundance here. You can't have you know, a book about a king's mistress without talking about the royals. I really enjoy learning about the history of sexuality because although we've advanced so much in things like technology, 
YouTube, computers, things like that. The way that we still have sexual relations and the way that we give birth is still fundamentally pretty much the same. And also I really like stories of women who are passionate and strong and kind of just just a fighters. I love women who are fighters and uh, make, a, make a kind of a standing point in society. I really love that and that's why I love the book. The writing style for me was incredible and I have to read you an extract from this book. Now this is I think it's about 43 pages in this extract. It's just a, a bit of a description about Henrietta herself really and by this point, Henrietta started not just to feel like a person, but a friend to me. So at the end, when I was coming towards the end of her life and we were wrapping everything that she's achieved up, I, I, was, I was quite emotional, actually. I really enjoyed it. And, and it's a great credit to Tracy Borman, who creates not just a person who lived 200 years ago, but make a friend for the reader. So I'm going to read you this bit and this is a bit of a description about Henrietta. So at this point it's talking about the relationship of the prince as he's become attracted to Henrietta. The prince was also drawn to Henrietta's physical charms. Now aged 25 she had blossomed into an attractive woman. The fashionably pale skin that others had to obtain with cosmetics was hers by nature. Her fine features were perfectly framed by her long hair which fell in soft curls down her back, and her figure, although less ample than Caroline's, George's wife, was slim and elegant, but it was her presence, just as much as her appearance, that made her alluring. Softly spoken, she chose her words carefully and was exceptionally discreet. Her eyes seemed to betray a secret pleasure or amusement, and the fact that she rarely re revelled in her private thoughts and feelings gave her enigmatic quality. I, I really loved Tracy Borman's writing and as I said it didn't feel like I was just learning about a new person, it felt like I was learning about a friend. I truly enjoyed it. I felt like I was there with a friend, it's a little fly on the wall, going through her life as a bit like an adventure story. So that's it, that is my review of King's Mistress Queen's Servants, The Life and Times of Henrietta Howard by Tracy Borman. I gave it five stars, I thought it was absolutely brilliant almost like a magical quality to it and I think everyone should read this just as a story of strength and admiration as well as of course the enjoyment of learning about a king's mistress because let's face it they're always fun stories. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've read it, if you have, do you love it? Um, also let me know in the comment section if you haven't read it are you going to get it and also I know lots of you do pick up the book after reviews and things like that. Some of you tweet me pictures, some of you message me on YouTube. Please get in touch with me if you've picked up any books that I've reviewed and let me know what you think of them because honestly I really enjoy learning about you guys and your thoughts and feelings on the books. I really enjoy it and I love talking to you guys. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day whatever you're up to. I am now going to snuggle up in bed with um, another book. <laughs> Shock. And I shall see you all soon for my next video. Take care everybody. Bye. Say bye Henrietta. Bye.